Live is at the Livingston Forum near Edinburgh for the next chapter in the blossoming career of Prince Nassim Ahmed. Good evening. It's a testing time for boxing. Last Saturday we saw a quite exceptional fight between Nigel Benn and Gerald McClellan. It was thrilling but brutal. Gerald McClellan remains on a life support machine after brain surgery at the Royal London Hospital. Tonight his condition is described as stable but still critical. Of course, we wish him a full and complete recovery. It's desperately sad for those of us who derive great enjoyment from the toughest sport of all and have nothing but total admiration for anyone who's brave enough to get into a boxing ring. One of that very special breed is Barry McGuigan. Barry, how do you react to the last week's events? Obviously, we're all desperately saddened by what's happened to young Gerald McClellan, but what a tremendous fight it was. And unfortunately, it will only be remembered for that tragedy. It was probably one of the best performances that I've ever seen in my life from Nigel Benn. Uh, it's certainly one of the best fights I've ever seen. Nigel's best performance without a doubt. And as I say, we'll only remember it for the tragedy. But you remain totally convinced the show boxing must go on? Of course it must go on. There are imminent dangers in all contact sports and there's imminent dangers in boxing. And obviously, uh, we every now and again have accidents and occasionally fatalities, but the sport must go on. And for the opportunity, the chance for fame and fortune that it gives these kids, it must go on. Barry, thank you very much indeed. Well, Prince Nassim Hamed was with us at ringside uh, last Saturday. It's business as usual for Nassim. He's very much his own man. Let's join him now as he completes his preparations, watched by Gary Newborn. Well, this is the noise and the scene in Nazi's dressing room. Actually, I've, I've never seen a boxer so relaxed. Are you going to be as relaxed as this when you fight for the World Championship? Definitely. You're going to see it for yourself. I'm so relaxed. I'm ready to do the business. It's not that you're taking your opponent too lightly tonight. No, I'm not taking him lightly. He's going to get beat, just like the rest. Brendan, you've been in many dressing rooms. Why is this lad so relaxed? He's expected to be focused and tense at this stage. I'm cool. Self-belief. He's been the same now as what he was when he was seven. He used to say to me, I'm going to make you very, very rich. I says, that's very nice. He says, now I'm going to be the best fighter to come out of Sheffield, come out of Great Britain. He says, I'm going to be world champion at any weight. Brilliant. Now, what can the viewers expect tonight? Well, all I've got to say to the viewers is, don't try this at home. It's totally professional. It's a packed house at the Forum Livingston in Scotland. And the challenger, Sergio Liendio, is in the ring. 142 out of 50, a class above Nassim Hamed's last opponent, judging by his record. And he has never been stopped or not off his feet. Very experienced campaigner, Sergio Liendo. for us. He's got the kilt on and the shades as well. He had a 
terrific reception from the Scots when he fought in Glasgow some six weeks ago. Since then, Nassim has celebrated his 21st birthday. know how to work a crowd. for this one. whose supervisor at ringside is Mauro Vetti of Italy. The British Boxing Board of Control steward this evening, Mr. Jerry Woolard. The judges at ringside are Sergio Silvi of Italy and Kurt Struer from Germany. And the referee in charge of the action, who also scores this contest, Mr. Van Daniel van der Vila of Belgium. The timekeeper, Mr. Jim Russell of Glasgow. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, Saturday night is Big Fight Night, live on ITV. From the Forum at Livingston, this is the main event of the evening. Sponsored by William Martin Marine Limited and promoted by Frank Warren for Sport Network in association with Catherine Morrison, who proudly presents a contest of 12 uh, three-minute rounds to decide at the WBC International Super Bantamweight Championship. Between introducing the boxers in the red corner, wearing the blue trunks with the white trim, from Argentina, this professional record of 50 contests wins 42 wins, 20 by KO, four losses, three draws and one no contest. He comes to the ring tonight as the former champion of Argentina and South America and the former WBC international champion. Will you welcome please Sergio Liendo? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, wearing the leopard from Sheffield. International Super Bantamweight Champion defending his title for the third time tonight, Prince Nazim Ahmed. That used to be the official weighing, the endo scale 8 stone 10 pounds, Ahmed 8 stone 9 pound 10 ounces. It's appropriate that a man who's going to Buckingham Palace on Tuesday to collect his OBE should be talking about a prince. It's Reggie Guthridge, alongside him his old sparring partner Jim Watt. Reggie, it's all yours. Thank you very much, Jim. I'll try and doff the topper the next time I see you. I don't think I'll get mixed up with the princes here in any way. Well, I tell you, he's coming in with a shorts that look like a skirt, the leopard thongs, he calls them. It's just an incredible... The way that the public have now taken to this fellow, he got a big hand at ringside in London last week. He, the Scots have really taken to him because he looked, at, he looked the business when he, he fought in Glasgow. Now, the problem is here, Jim, we don't know enough about... We know the record, which is very substantial, and the fact that he's never been knocked over at uh, Liendo. But we don't really know what 
a fellow from Zambia he defeated uh, for the WBC international title. That's not the, the full one, it's the second one to it, and didn't bother to defend it. Paul Kooma, a Zambian. You see what I'm saying there? Already the, the Scots have taken to this fellow. He gives him a bit of entertainment, but it now looks as though he can uh, not only back up his post, the, the lad can fight. He's only 21 recently. changing stats. The thing about uh, the endo when he weighed in, Hammers manager Brendan Brent Ingle said, well, there's no marks on him, so he doesn't get knocked around at all. Very clean cut looking. Yeah, the, the fact that he fights so often, Reg, suggests that he doesn't get involved in wars, so he's probably fairly elusive with a good defence. That was a good little start, he caught in. Naz with a couple of decent shots. But then Naz will make him pay for that, as he has done already. Uh, most people are saying, what's going to happen when somebody hits him, uh, Jim? But when he boxes in the gymnasium against people much heavier than him, he takes some good shots, never complains. I think he does absorb a good punch, but then again, we've got to find out. And I don't know whether this fellow's capable of it or not. Well, he's not a big puncher, Lendo, but I get the impression that Naz is great natural strength, so I don't really see any problems when eventually he takes that, a solid shot in the chin. Really, he looks to have everything. You're not 100% sure until you see him do it at the top level, but he really looks as though he has the business. He's given up the European Bantamweight Championship, that's the H Stone 6 division. And, uh, well, that's always difficult to do that, but he just doesn't want to sweat down, he says, to that weight anymore. He's now 8 stone 10, he weighs a few ounces under that for this. And uh, Leendo was 8 stone 10. Well, if the first round is anything to go by, at least it looks like Leendo's going to give him a test far better than his previous opponent. And that was a lovely shot. That was a bone shaker, that one. That was a lovely uppercut. Uppercut lead from Hamed. Yeah, as you say, the Argentine's going to make him fight by the look of it. But we'll see how durable he is uh, against Hamed, who's, who's made fairly decent fighters look very ordinary with his style and with his punch power he's been talking about round three in fact ten minutes ago I had to be walking past him keeping my distance he said uh, you watch for round three but I think he was he wouldn't have minded being in the opening round then when he let that punch go Looking all casual as he always does. Another day at the office, isn't it, for Hamed, who is a uh, former boxer, Brendan Ingle, said he's been doing that since he was a kid in the gymnasium. He's in love with the business, loves it. Now, it's about Muslim, and uh, he actually visited London Hospital. He obviously couldn't see Gerald McClellan, but wanted to pay respects to his family, he said. Very clean living guy, so there's, there's not too much to worry about that, and very disciplined. Jim, let's have well, another look at it in super slow motion. Yeah, but just start from the end with that uppercut. Bang, look at that, right through the guard, a beautiful punch. But full credit to Leandro, he tried to come back with a punch of his own, but from that point on, he was looking very cagey, very careful. Well, he's had a good chance to look at him now, Leandro knows what's, what he's got to face. Referee Daniel Van der Eyl from uh, Belgium. The referee to Robbie Regan fight in Cardiff not so long ago. <laughs> Apart from these sort of cobra-like skills that he's got, uh, Nazim Jimmy, he's, he's physically well built, isn't he, for an eight stone ten fighter? Yeah, he's got very strong legs. That, that's one of the reasons I believe he'll come up at least a couple of weight divisions. Very strong looking legs, and that's obviously where his punching power comes from. Although he doesn't have to be set to get power into his punches, he seems to be able to do that from all angles. Well, uh, up until now, Leandro looks at a worthy opponent. <laughs> oh, what a left hook. He's got no control of his feet. I mean, he really planted that with a champion skill there. And he's going to stop this by the look of it, the Belgian referee, because this fellow's legs have stiffened on him. Now the referee should stop that, Reg. Yeah, he's over. That's the last thing we want. That was unnecessary, that last punch. Totally unnecessary. That is 
the last thing we wanted to see tonight. He had nothing left, that left hook finished him off completely. I don't know why the referee ordered the box on there. Well, it's, uh, at least he's calming down anyway. Ahmed, he's, he's learned that lesson, which uh, Ben didn't seem to realise, actually, in fairness to him, that the panel was on, on the deck like that and uh, in dire trouble. But meanwhile, the, the doctors obviously won't uh, let this fellow stand up until he's capable of doing it. That's, that's a standard regulation anyway. Yeah, they're speaking to him, thankfully. He's responding all right, but uh, it's the last thing we needed tonight, Reg. That last punch was totally unnecessary. See, he won eight out of nine last year, Jim. As I say, I can't tell you the true strength of the opposition. That was what was... But Reg, that was a about. perfect left hook. Yeah, he... that, you could see the impact as the punch landed. That was a perfect punch. That would have knocked out any super phantom way, Reg. That was a beauty. That's actually but... the, the strongest punch I've seen the Hamid deliver. So, meanwhile, now we've got to wait for this lab. We hope now to come round. I mean... Uh, two weeks and yes he's getting up now that's that's a good sign he just just banged his head on the floor and the master ceremony is getting a stool for him to sit on right away yes he can get back to the corner but uh, he's lost the, the feeling his legs all together Jim. is that is that what happens i mean uh, i don't yes, think you were ever quite in that condition as a butter no, what no, happened no i was never knocked out i don't believe i was ever hit as hard as that thankfully it was a perfect punch ledge I just was, wish that had been the last one that he took. I mean, Ahmed, lovely balance, lovely move, just saw his chance. Bang, look at that, let's see the way the head's gone. Down he goes, legs all over the place, tried to come back up again. That was a sign of the courage of the man. But... That's the way, he was actually yeah. heading over anyway, that punch just knocked him over. Thankfully that wasn't a, a hard yeah. punch. When, when he got up to him, I, I was saying that I think the referee's going to stop this. I thought he was going to count him out because he wasn't in a position to totally defend himself. I mean, that really was a bleacher of a punch. Yeah, and Hamid, Hamid that's do it. the end of it. See, he's up, he's looking, oh, he's looking. No, Curry's got another left hook. Bang. And he went down heavily from that one because his legs weren't supporting him, his reflexes weren't what they should have been, and he went down heavily. Well, he's had the good sense not to dance around and make too much fuss after the contest, Hamid, I'm sure he'll have a lot to say, but he's making sure now that uh, the Argentinian will leave the ring OK. Yeah, it looks, it looks as though he's going to be OK here. Now, no, no, there it is, so fair, fair dues. Well, that's, that's a big relief, isn't it? For, certainly for the boxer and, and, all, and all of us to see that he's uh, going to come through OK. And to be fair to Hamad, is paying him the respect that this fellow's due. First time in uh, the 51 fights this was that he's been uh, counted out or stopped or both. Well, he's now looking to fight Alfredo Vasquez, a Puerto Rican. He says, yes, I'll come and fight him, unless Hamed thinks he needs a little bit more experience. Remember, he hasn't been beyond the, the sixth round yet. He scored now 28 knockdowns, not knockouts. So quite rightly now, the corner and the boxing board's uh, medical supervisors are saying to Leandro, stay there until we're ready to OK that you can get out the ring. And the doctor's also having a check on Hamed. It's uh, just formality, formality, but I think Gary Newborn's got uh, Hamed ready to talk. Naz, the first most important thing in, in the week we've had is that Dr. Alistair Howey says that your opponent is perfectly all right. He has recovered from That's that. That's great. I'm really concerned about my opponent's all right, but I'd just like to dedicate this fight to Jeremy McClellan on a full recovery of his. I'm praying for him, and everybody I know is praying for him, so hopefully he'll recover well. That's to Jeremy McClellan. Well, I know it wasn't on your mind before the fight, but it's good that everybody's conscious of what has happened. Now, let's concentrate on the fight now, and that is the best punch I've ever seen you throw, the left hook that put him down first time. Now, I can tell you, my power is extraordinary. I was just lining him up there. I knew he's dropped his hand. The hook is coming up now. Look, it's just there. Oh, what a beautiful shot. 
I think the referee should have stopped it then. Definitely, I thought he should have stepped in there because this hockey was just awesome. It was just there. I mean, the shot was just a great shot and it took him out completely. Uh, I just hope he's nice and safe and everything's great. We don't want any other episodes like the other night. What, was there a worry for you then when you had to throw that second punch? No, there wasn't a worry. I know basically I weren't going to hit him that hard to damage him like uh, Jeremy McClendon. I'm all right. I'm all right. All right. Let's have the final word with the promoter, Frank Warren. Frank, when is this world title fight going to happen? We're working on it. At the moment tonight, the WBA have got a, a dinner in uh, Atlantic City and Vasquez is supposed to have a purse offer going against his uh, mandatory challenger. We've offered the mandatory challenger quite a bit of money to step aside and I'm waiting some news from Atlantic City what tonight. What do you think will happen? I think we've got a 50-50 chance of getting it. The worst way, Naz will get the winner. Thank you very much, Naz. A fantastic punch. All's well that ends well. Well done. Another great night for you. Later. Thank you, Kerry. Well, I know a few of, our, of you are out there have been none too pleased by some of Nassim Hamed's antics uh, in the past. I feel he has shown great maturity out there. But it's not a very quick win for him. You can hear how the cry behind me have taken to Nassim Hamed. It has to be said they're pretty pleased after the happenings down the road at Murrayfield. Nassim Hamed. Still the WBC International Super Bantamweight Champion. Still unbeaten, of course. So then, another very quick night's work for Nassim Ahmed, and that means we've got a chance to show you one of the real hard men of the ring. He's Dennis Andrees, he's age 41, he's the British cruiserweight champion. And he's in tonight with an American called Mike Peake. Andrees is wearing the blue. He's dominated the fight throughout. That's really